Hey guys, so welcome back to my another video. This video is going to be a part six for building the applications on the uh, uh, Angular on the front end and back end. We are using the Spring Boot on it. So far, we have completed building the uh, APIs on the Spring Boot, and uh, now we are getting started on the uh, Angular app on the front end. And I already show you on the video one that this is the how it looks like at the end, and this is a mobile version. So if the Angular, if I go in here, we could able to add a task, and of course this button will not do anything at this time but we could able to add a task here so I could add any talks here uh, so I can say this is my talks of and this is would be the title and I, I need to pick a due date here and this is the descriptions once I submit it will add it here is based on the uh, order by descending the uh, the due date so it will show up in the end because I picked the December 2 but if I click it here and if I change the due date if I click the edit button here it will allow me to edit if I change something to this then I can save it it will show me in the first year so basically now we could able to do update as well so whenever we do update it will also change here the chart right because currently uh, we have how many we have a done as a three we have to do at one and the pending is only one this is a type and based on the type it will give me the certain percentage of how many uh that the uh, how many percentage has been a done a 60 percentage and pending is 20 and two days 20 based on that it will also draw a chart and of course for the to draw a chart i use the uh, chart.js and uh, angular has the open source call ng chart ng2 chart uh, which i'm going to install it in my packages later on when i'm building this application so okay so this is how it's going to be and of course this is a crowd operation i just want to show you a small crowd operations to look a little better and using the angular material design and also the component here so i could also able to remove it if i like it i can click on this one and i could able to remove it it's already gone and we will not see it here in back in our list and this is what we're gonna do and uh, let's get started so I already built this project here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go in integrated here to in terminal and I'm going to create a new branch, right? I'll go to CD dash dash. Now I'm in this. And now what I'm going to do, I will go in different branch. So I will just go to check out, check out. I'm going to go to master branch. Uh, basically uh, I have a git to different different branches sitting in my grid so I can go in different different branches. but you guys don't need to have to do this uh, first you guys need to install the angular and the way to install angular here it is you guys need to install a node of course and npm uh, a node come with the npm and after that you guys can install npm install angular okay and you guys can install uh, ng and new and give the name of your app and once you, you create your app you just do ng serve and it will run your app on localhost 43 uh, sorry 4200 okay so once you have installed this then the next is to adding the material design so now let me go to the my master this is my master branch i don't have anything this is the boiler plate this is the uh, boiler plate that will come uh while you uh, create your app project with this uh, terminal okay angular cli okay so now i have this as the as in master here so now what i'm going to do i'm going to create another branch called uh, tox management because this is the, our project going to be the tox management okay tox management okay so i'm going to create a new branch with tox management and i will go to uh, tox management okay now i am in tox management so now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to install the couple of the packages which I needed. Okay. So now if I check my packages, I'll show you what are the packages what I have at this time. I do have Angular CLI compiler. This is come with the Angular everything. For a, uh, oh, I mean Dave here. Sorry, this is for a Dave one. Of course, it comes with a lot of the unit testing, um, such as like Jasmine Karma uh, for Angular. But uh, we are not doing any testing at this time. We're just building this application first. Okay. So now it comes. Angular comes with this. It comes with the router, RSJX, right? And uh, this join the uh, JS. Everything comes with the Angular. On the top of it, we want to use a material. So I will use the ng add material dependency here okay so now it will add me a material uh, uh 
library on the top of uh, my project so now it will ask me a couple of the questions here let me see what it asks okay uh, I can't even see it here okay now it, it okay it it asks me to pick the uh, my theme what is going to be my theme uh, you know what I'm gonna pick this deep purple blue so I'm gonna use uh, set up the angular material topography style as globally uh, I can okay yes I'll set up the browser animation for angular materials okay yes and now it's going to install the uh, the material design part net material design component in my angular project so once it's been installed now the next step is we need this uh, the ng2 chart because uh, I'm using the and drawing the chart I'm using the ng2 so I'm gonna grab this as well and I'm, go I'm going to install it uh, here is a way to install it you can install the first thing you need to install this and you also need to install uh, the uh, the dependencies for for this one it's a chart.js okay so let me wait to install this first okay guys uh, looks like my the angular uh, the dependencies and spin installed uh, so I can show you guys where it's been installed uh, here angular material 10.2.10.2.7 uh, it's been installed already in my project so the my next step is to install the uh, chart.js dependency so I'll just copy this one and I'll just paste it here npm install uh, I paste it here but somehow it comes to here but anyway it's, it's going to install this ng2 chart so now let's wait uh, for this one to install it okay guys it looks like the my ng2 chart has already been installed so now and I need to install the n and the chart.js as well so I will just install this one too okay okay uh, I think it's the chart.js it's installed as well so now everything is installed and we could also run this npm audit fix it will fix the couple of the vener couple of these uh, uh, the issues uh, on, on the dependencies stuff so uh, I'm, I'm gonna run just uh, just in case npm audit fix also okay so now let's see how it's show up it's throw a bunch of error here right but i we need to check that what is this error is coming from okay it looks like i need to run this again this project so what i'm going to do i'm going to close this the uh the runner which is running and i'm going to after installing this uh, i'm going to run this project so i will just uh, wait uh, to finish this as well okay okay guys so it looks like my npm audit fix is run as well so now let me uh, run this project uh, I didn't run this project first so I, I mean I had running but uh, I stopped it because I was having some issues here in the back so I'm gonna run to ng serve to run this project and I have already installed the dependencies which I needed such as uh, materials designs and chart JS and ng2 chart okay so this is the dependencies what I needed to create this project and uh, now let's uh, wait to run this project okay guys it looks like the my project is running uh, on port 4200 so I'll just refresh to see that everything is working or if not okay looks like everything is working now I don't have any issue okay so it looks like the, my project uh, it's been set up to create a new component stuff and moreover not only component but services and many more and I'm gonna create that in next video this is just a fully setup of the project in angular for this video so on next video we're gonna dive in on a quote and we're gonna write down the, uh, the logic that what we need to create this project okay and thank you very much for watching this video guys and if you guys like my videos and I'm going to put a lot of full stack of knowledge or full stack the videos on my channel so if you guys like it please do uh, subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching guys bye for now